My name is David Foley. I'm the Hydrocarbon Project Sector Manager for Servimax. And today, here with me is Matt Halsey, our Process Oxygen Product Manager, and we're going to discuss combustion control. So, Matt, what I'd like to know is, what does Servimax do for combustion control, and what are some of our products that we use for that? Servimex have a number of products that can be used for combustion control, but our main two are the Flue Gas Exact 2700, which is a traditional zirconia technology based analyzer with a thick film combustible sensor for fine tuning. And the other is our Laser 3 Plus combustion product, which is a very modern tunable laser diode technology for cross stack measurements. What are some of the benefits of that type of control? Well, the, the 2700, the flue gas exact, is, uh, uses 60 year old zirconia technology. So it was started in the automotive industry. It's industry proven, which means it's trusted by the customers. It's very easy to install, uh, low, low maintenance requirements, has very long sensor life, and that's really thanks to its extractive measurement principle. So our sensors are kept outside of the harsh process environment in a heated enclosure. The 2700 also has auxiliary air, which maintains the combustibles measurement even during a oxygen reducing condition, and a flow alarm for continuous sample flow measurement. Well, that sounds like a very high quality measurement uh, are there any other type of analytical solutions for analytical combustion measurements such as oxygen? So the Laser 3 Plus combustion for oxygen is a cross stack measurement designed for large ducts. It provides an average cross stack duct measurement, which means you don't need multiple single point entry products. Then would that be a path measurement versus a point measurement? It would indeed. So the laser can measure up to 20 meter path lengths with a single unit, uh, needing a second unit maybe for carbon monoxide. The 2700 flue gas exact has the inbuilt zirconia for oxygen and the TFX for COE, which means a single analyzer can make the two measurements needed for, for combustion control but multiple point measurements would be required. You know, in hydrocarbon processing, one of the issues we've always gotten into is our furnaces and fired process heaters run so hot. Are there any options to eliminate the heat from a product that's just right there on the heater? So both analyzers have a number of options available for those types of high temperature applications. The Flue Gas Exact, for example, we can use thermal spacers to isolate the analyzer from the hot process wall, or we can stand the analyzer away. We even have the option for remote extraction, where the analyzer is mounted on a skid or a panel 40 feet, 100 feet even away from the process. The laser has a number of options, similar options, thermal isolation flanges, standoff flanges, things like that. Well, that seems like the remote extractive then would be better for maintenance. Typically, yes. Um, sometimes your maintenance requirements can be higher than a direct mounting, but it certainly makes it safer to maintain and it allows much easier access on large applications. I'm curious, you know, most of our combustion products contain anywhere from 15 to 20 percent moisture. Are, is there any protective device in the, the flue gas analyzer that would allow you not to condense in the analyzer? So we use a heated block. So the sample is actually extracted from the process, unlike your traditional in situ zirconia probes. So our sample is extracted, which effectively means the sample is conditioned before it reaches the sensors. Oh, that'd be perfect. And I guess with, uh, with that, you'd also have filtration. Of course, yeah. Well, what, what if I started up my process though and my heater's not working properly? Well, the analyzer has a number of safety interlocks included, oh, okay. which means that when the analyzer is heating or is not up to optimum temperature, the internal aspirator that drives the sample extraction will not switch on until the analyzer is up to temperature. That, that would be excellent. You know, I'm always concerned about, I guess you can use the laser for both oxygen and combustible, like CO plus methane measurement? You can. You would need multiple laser units, so one for oxygen and then one for combined CO and CH4. You know, one, one of the things that concerns me about would starting up you know, looking at combustibles with a laser would be if I'm actually making the, the measurement properly. Is it, would there be something in the analyzer that would help me know, make, maintain or know for sure that I have line lock for that particular 
analysis. So every Laser 3 Plus comes with an inbuilt reference cuvette which means that even if there is no sample gas present, the analyzer will always keep line lock on the correct gas. So if I did use that for an interlock on my process, that would be very acceptable. Method. Absolutely. Okay. If I was using a combustion analysis in, in safety control, do, do either the analyzers have a seal rating that would actually allow me to put redundant analyzers in and use that for shutdown? The Laser 3 Plus uh, comes with SIL 2 hardware compliance and Servomex have the full backing of um, a third party report and certificate. If we go back to more of the traditional technology then like the zirconia oxygen, you said long life, but is it truly long life sensor? Uh, absolutely. Um, Independent testing several years ago showed that a typical zirconia lifespan in a flue gas exact was around seven to eight years. And really that is thanks to the extractive principle, the fact that we keep our sensors away from the harsh process environment in a temperature controlled uh, environment, which ensures we have no dew point issues, no moisture um, and no issues with acid gases. I understand. I'm also curious about, you know, calibration of the combustible sensor. Uh, I'm assuming that's just done with some type of standard CO in nitrogen type arrangement? That's correct. Um, very simple three gas calibration for a, for a flue gas exact with, all, with, all, with both sensors fitted. Um, two levels of oxygen, air being one of them, which is freely available on most sites. A low level oxygen for the zirconia, say 3000 ppm oxygen. And then for the COE sensor, 1,000 ppm CO in, not, in, in air would be absolutely fine. Can I calibrate the sensors independently? You can, absolutely. And we also have the capability of full auto calibration as well with some extra hardware. So the sensors can be calibrated automatically in sequence without any user input. Okay. I guess talking gas usage, you know, on your laser, you'd be, you know, would it be possible to do oxygen measurement with air purge or nitrogen? For particular temperatures, we can offer the uh, high temperature combustion product. So typically temperatures above 500 degrees Celsius. Um, we actually use a different line to make the measurement, which means we can measure oxygen as well as purge with air. Okay, you know, you mentioned something interesting about combustible measurements with the standard TFX technology. How, how does it continue to make the measurement even if the oxygen value is low? So that would be down to the auxiliary air. So uh, internal to every flue gas exact is a small air restrictor, which trickles around 100 millilitres a minute of air over the TFX sensor and dilutes the sample ever so slightly. And what that means is even under reducing conditions, when there is no oxygen coming up the probe from the sample gas, we can still maintain our combustibles measurement. That would work really well. I guess so the summary would be that Servomax has a set of combustion solutions, both traditional zirconia and laser, that can be used for combustion control applications. What do you try to do? Match the right technology with the right furnace? Absolutely. We can offer the more traditional trusted technology or we can offer the much more modern lower maintenance technology depending on the customer requirements. I guess that would depend on whether I had a path or a point type measurement. Could the analysis technologies be combined? Uh, absolutely. Um, we are seeing a lot more customers or end users now use uh, zirconia for oxygen as it is this industry proven technology and then using the TDL technology to measure CO and combine methane which gives you find control on your combustion process and your safety methane measurement. And again, I guess that would be a cell technology that could be used for shutdown if needed. Yes. In an SIS system. Correct. Matt, really appreciate your input today into combustion control solutions. I guess if, if people would like to take this further with Servomex, what's the best way to get a hold of us? For any more information that's required, please contact your local business center or visit www.servamex.com.